Hi there, welcome to a new video of Dr. Smartphone. Today we are going to have a look at the replacement of the battery and the display for the new iPhone 6. Now the iPhone 6 has been in the market for about, uh, well, officially about 2-3 weeks. And we got quite a few calls from people uh, with broken displays. So far we told them to wait a little bit because we ourselves think that 12,000 baht for a new display is a little bit much. Right now the price has dropped to around 8,000 baht and um, yeah that's a, a reasonable price seeing the fact that the iPhone itself cost about 25,000 baht. So we have here in front of us all the ingredients for our video. The first thing is the broken iPhone and thanks to our customer for letting us, uh, letting us use his phone to make this video. And then here we see the tools that we're going to use a suction cup to remove the display, a small Phillips screwdriver, a spudger made of plastic, a long one so we can get it nice deeply under the screen, then we have a pantalope screwdriver for taking out the bottom screws, a tweezer might come in handy, and a guitar pick. Uh, if we have problems opening the screen with a suction cup. I also will use this board here which is actually a screw board uh, for the iPhone 5 but I don't have it yet for the 6. It's just uh, to keep the screws from uh, staying uh, in the right place. So let's put these tools aside and have a look at our display. The display uh, we bought it says original it's a little bit more expensive than the full copy and although myself I don't believe they are full original usually the LCD is original and the glass on top is a copy. There's not, uh, yeah, the, the number of original displays in the market is so small and they are really really expensive so I don't believe it's original but it's the best quality you can buy. So here's our iPhone 6 display, very nicely packed. The back side, the front side, has some protective layer on top. So let's get started. Over here you see two connectors, one is for the LCD, the other one for the touch screen. It does look a bit different from the uh, iPhone 5. Obviously it's bigger but also uh, the screw positioning is totally different. And um, also uh, a big difference is the little cable here, the annoying cable from the 5S is gone. So that was always, uh, especially when it's your first repair, you always broke that little cable. Now let's get started. We start with removing two screws here on the bottom with a pantalope screwdriver. So this will be my first iPhone 6 so I apologize if sometimes I need a little time to see how everything is put together. So we remove the two screws and now we need to try to open the screen. It's a big long screen so you have to be careful with opening it. Especially if it's a good screen and you just want to take it out for changing the battery. You have to be careful not to break it. Now this one is cracked. Luckily it has a screen protector on top so I can use the suction cup. Although it doesn't hold very well. So try to put my nail in and now I'm going to use my guitar pick put it in and it pops open a little bit as you can see on this side here's the metal frame and if you are so far and you see this side is a bit stuck what you can use is the spudger you're going to put it behind the glass 
underneath the metal frame. I'm not sure you can see it like this. And slowly push it down. And then move it to the other side. And oh, there you go. Pops open right away. So let's have a look on the inside of the iPhone 6. Here is the new bigger battery. Uh, 1810 milliamp compared to 1590 from the iPhone 5s. We see the cover plate of the battery connector is here, and also this uh, plate here has been uh, modified a little bit. Before it had four screws. Actually, the iPhone 5 had three screws. Then they made it with four screws, and now they made it with five screws to keep all the connectors in place. So below this metal plate here are the uh, connectors for the camera, for the display, for the touch screen. Now first, let's have a look. I will remove this so you can see it a little bit better. Let's have a look at uh, the battery. If you want to change the battery, you want to remove this part here. Now, even I'm changing the display, I always recommend at least to uh, remove the connector of the battery that's one screw that's two you can see here the battery connector use a piece of plastic to pry it open the reason why I removed the, the battery first is to take all the electricity out of the motherboard so after you have removed the connector you give it a short press on the side <laughs> not like the iPhone 5 on the top on the power button so then you're sure all the electricity is out of the board and you can't short it anyway let's put this plate aside and now we continue removing the display remove the cover plate and here you see all the connectors start with the top one one two three and four here are four connectors so let me zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit better so here we have the display removed from the from the housing the first thing I'm going to try is check if the new display works so I have to connect the battery it's a very uh, wide connector I'll zoom in a little bit more it's very easy to bend this you have to be very careful with this I can already see that might lead to some problems if you're not careful the second one the battery is connected and we see the beautiful Apple logo which is a good sign now I don't want to wait normally I wait till it uh, starts up and I will check the display for uh, damages and spots but it's the only display I have there's no choice so 
I'll just continue with this one. Take the battery out. <clears throat> now we need to remove <coughs> some parts from the old display to the new uh, display. The earpiece we need to remove the back plate the fingerprint scanner and home button and uh, yeah let's start getting rid of some screws there are one two three screws on this side and another three on this side three screws here and another three down here Sorry for the little interruption, my memory card was full so I had to uh, change it. That's all been done and we are ready to continue with our iPhone 6 display repair. So what I was busy with is removing the metal bracket from the home button. And there are three screws securing it. Can remove this little plate. And you have to be careful with this. You don't want to tear the uh, the rubber uh, ring around the button. We have to get it out. So I use a tweezer. And then you can see here it's glued to the frame so we have to be really careful removing that because one big disadvantage is if you break this cable and uh, yeah you can replace it with uh, another cable from China but the fingerprint recognition it will not work anymore so really really have to be careful with this pry it up with my plastic sponge there you go now it's connected here with a little connector and we were able to remove it successfully. So you see there's a little connector where that attaches it to the screen. The other part in the top, the camera, is another three screws we have to remove. One is here. Um, also another thing to keep in mind, these screws all have different sizes, so you want to keep them separate and don't mix them up. That's one. This second one is a bit longer. And one screw here on the side. Now we can remove the cover. You see the camera here, front camera is folded over the earpiece, so after we lift that we can remove the earpiece. And the rest is glued again here into the frame, carefully pry it out. Don't have the spare parts yet for this phone, so I have to be careful I don't break it. These parts are very cheap though. 
unlike the display. There we go. You can see here one microphone that's used for Skype uh, calling. And this is the front facing cam. And these silver parts here connect with the four uh, golden parts, I mean, with the four golden parts on the earpiece. So now we can continue removing the metal frame. See it's still fixed here with some tape. We will have to remove this carefully. Here you go. So, yeah, that cable is uh, for the fingerprint. So it goes from here, underneath here, to the top. And that's why now we have four connectors on the top of the iPhone compared to 3 with the iPhone uh, 5S. So it's about time to move everything over to our new display. Here are some small parts um, that we can uh, move over. Although they are glued in the original frame here we don't need to use glue you can just put them in the right place and it will be held there automatically by the cable This one is glued very well. There we go. It's a little bit out of shape, but it's okay. So plastic part will hold the... Uh, I will zoom in a little bit. The right plastic ring holds the camera at place and this ring is for the sensors. Then we have to remove this plastic layer. And we have to put the frame back. Now the frame holds this connector here in its place as well.
So, we have put the frame back in position. Make sure over here it's lined up neatly. And then I will start first to put the four screws in the corners. That's four screws. Now we position the connector here. If you closer look, so the connector is back in its place. And then we can put the home button back. Okay, make sure it's well connected, otherwise you'll have to open it again later. And then we can put our cover plate back. I'll remove that later. Most important is it makes a nice clicking sound. One more screw on the bottom. That's done. So now we are going to try to put the parts in the top. That is the most difficult part of this uh, repair. We start with putting the microphone in the right position. Um, you can see here there's a little I'm not sure you can see it. Let me see if I can zoom in more. Yes, you see here's a little hole in the plastic where you can put this plastic uh, piece through. And then you know it's positioned well. Then fold it back. You hear the clicking sound for the sensor going into the plastic frame. And the next step, we put this camera frame back, push the camera in. Oh, I have a feeling I'm forgetting something, which I am. that is the earpiece. So after you put the 
the sensor into the plastic uh, connector we put the earpiece on top there's also two holes that need to line up one here and one over here and then we move the camera on top put it in the plastic and this is what it looks like and then we need to move the plastic bracket back on top So we see the camera there. That looks all tidy. One thing we need to make sure of is this cable. zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. I just found out that one cable is not aligned correctly you see here and that will not work. So we need to move this cable on top of this cable. Another check and we can see now they are lined up perfectly. We have a clicking home button, so let's put it back together. We start with the long connector on the top, the one that's easy to bend, be careful. Press it evenly on all the sides from left to the right. That's one. When you hear that snappy sound, you know it's connected well. to go be patient with this don't rush it and do not press very strongly until you're sure that the connector is lined up well otherwise you might damage a connector which is a expensive uh, repair so after we put all the cables back and of course the power cable we are just going to turn it on very quickly see if everything works and then we can put it back together The LCD works, and now we just check the touch screen. That works. That's the wrong code. <laughs> so, the screen works, and uh, we can finish the process. Turn it off. put the metal bracket back in its place with the five screws
So we got one, two, three, four, five screws here. We put our battery uh, connector back in place. And the last thing we're going to do, the second last thing, is put the bracket back on the battery. That's done. Our screen is placed. And then the last job we have to do is put it back in place. You start with the top. Make sure it's very well aligned in the corners. Start in the top, drop it on slowly, press it down. Check all the sides, it looks great.